Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel, in this episode we are going to see, without struggle, life cannot be comfortable, whatever goal we must achieve, we must fight for it, without struggle we will not get anything easily, friends, there are so many people in the world who are struggling to achieve their goals, their struggle did not end there, they lost once and tried again, no matter, how many times they lost they struggled again and again to achieve their goal, it is very, very true that they achieved their goal because they fought again and again without getting depressed. We can point to many great men for example. I am very happy to let you know through this video the struggle of a great man and the goal he achieved in his life through this video. He is none other than His Excellency Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa. Nelson Mandela was a former president of South Africa his full name is Nelson Ralilila Mandela. Nelson Mandela was born Ralilila Mandela on July 18, 1918, in tiny village of Mso, on the banks of the Mbashi River in Transke, South Africa. Nelson Mandela's father, who was chief served as a counselor to tribal chiefs for several years. Mandela's family lived in huts and ate local harvest of maize sorghum pumpkin and beans which was all they could afford. Water came from springs and streams and cooking was done outdoors. Mandela was the first in his family to attend school. As was custom at the time, due to the bias of the British educational system in South Africa, Mandela's teacher told him that his new first name would be Nelson. He was actively involved in the anti-apartheid movement in his 20s. Mandela joined the African Congress in 1942. Many times Mandela fought against the racism and he was punished and he spent his 27 years life in prison. For 20 years he directed a campaign of peaceful non-violent defiance against the South African government and its racist policies. He was a non-violence, anti-apartheid activist, politician, and philanthropist who became South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999. In 1993, Mandela was awarded by Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to dismantle the country's apartheid system. Nelson Mandela is continued as a source of inspiration for civil rights activists worldwide. In 1994 Mandela published his autobiography Long Walk to Freedom, much of which he had secretly written while in prison. The book inspired the 2013 movie Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. He also published a number of books about his life and struggles, among them No Easy Walk to Freedom, Nelson Mandela The Struggle is My Life, and Nelson Mandela's Favorite African Folk Tales. In 2009, Mandela's birthday, July 18, was declared Mandela Day, an international day to promote global peace and celebrate the South African leader's legacy. According to the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory, the annual event is meant to encourage citizens worldwide to give back the way that Mandela has throughout his lifetime. After suffering a lung infection in January 2011, Mandela was hospitalized in Johannesburg to undergo surgery for a stomach ailment. Mandela was hospitalized many times, in December 2012. On December 5, 2013 at the age of 95, Nelson Mandela died at his home in Johannesburg, South Africa. We have learned the meaning of tolerance and suffering from, His Excellency Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa. Your struggling and suffering teach you many things to you. Learn and apply it in your life for solving your one problems. Thank you so much for watching this motivational video. Take care. See you again in the next video. Always wishing you all. Yours Shiva Subramaniam. Please subscribe, comment, and share this YouTube channel. Thank you.